welcome to ABC Interactive English. This is Henry, and this is Karen.、Mm-hmm. And today we are looking at our jokes and fun again, and it's called a chance of rain. And the vocabulary words are chance, chance. There is not much chance that the Braves will win. Group, group. How many girls are in the group? Report, report. The sales reports look good this month. Cow, cow. Andy knows how to milk cows. Mm-hmm. Karen, have you ever gone cow tipping? Cow tipping. What's、mm-hmm. cow tipping? You tip a cow. You mean you let them tip over? Right. This is what you do. You know, cows sleep standing up, right? Mm-hmm. So what you do is you wait until that it's the middle of the night. Okay. You will sneak up on a cow. Okay. A sleeping cow. Mm-hmm. So the, do they close their eyes? They close their eyes. Okay. And then when you push them, you just have to push them quite. You don't have to push them very hard. You just have to push them very gently, and they'll fall over, and they'll and they'll wake up. <gasps> that is so mean. Why would you do that? Well, I didn't do it. I just went with my friends and watched them. So、cows. that's called cow tipping. Yeah, it's called cow tipping. It's like when they're sleeping and then you kind of just push them so they fall down. And they get really scared because they're really surprised. Like if somebody knocked you over when you're sleeping, you'll be very surprised too. <laughs> I, I like I said, I didn't do it. I just watched it. I didn't Henry, do it.、Oh, I didn't do it. Not a good idea, guys. Not a good idea. Cow tipping. Okay, and the question for today is: What does it mean when the cows are lying down? What does it mean when the cows are lying down? That's right; they don't lie down very much. A chance of rain. A group of people from the city was visiting a farm. The farmer was giving them a tour. Here we are lucky," said the farmer. "We never have to check the weather report." The visitors asked how that was possible. When our cows are standing, said the farmer, it will be sunny. When our cows lie down, it's going to rain. Right now, some of your cows are standing and some are lying down. What does that mean? Asked a visitor. The farmer answered, "That means some of them are wrong." Explanation one. Hi, I'm Mike, and I'm Hanny. Thanks for joining us for day two of this month's jokes and fun unit. Yesterday's joke was about an employee who just wasn't going to laugh at his boss's bad jokes anymore. But today's joke takes us out of the office and out into the countryside.、Mm. It's a joke about a farmer and his cows. Moo! How lovely! That is lovely and <laughs> great cow impersonation. <laughs> well, it is a lovely setting, but I'm afraid that the weather might be a bit of a problem because as we begin reading, we see that the title of the joke is "A Chance of Rain." Oh dear! I hope you brought your umbrella. And chance is our first new vocab word for today. Chance, chance. This is a noun. A chance is how likely that something will or will not happen. A good chance means that we think it will probably happen. If there is no chance, though, only a crazy person would bet on that. For example, there is no chance that Ame will ever be the president of France. Hmm. 阿妹绝对不会当上法国总统，是没错啦。好，我们来看单词 chance。chance 这个单词在课文里面是当名词，它表示机会是可能性。例如 ，Ian has a good chance of getting the job. Ian has a good chance of getting the job. Ian 很有可能会得到那一份工作。好，再看个例句。I haven't had a chance to visit the museum yet. I haven't had a chance to visit the museum yet. 我一直都还没有机会去参观那间博物馆。好，另外我们可以用 by chance 来表达偶然的或是意外的，像是 We found this lovely cafe by chance. We found this lovely cafe by chance. 我们偶然发现这间不错的小餐馆。好，那今天的笑话标题是 A chance of rain， 意思是有下雨的可能性。那我们赶快来看笑话吧。Okay, let's get to the joke. The first sentence tells us a group of people from the city was visiting a farm. While getting some fresh air and seeing what life on a farm is is really like.
That's right. Sounds like it could be fun. We saw the word group in that last sentence, and it's our next new vocab word: group. Group. It's a noun. A group is a bunch of people. It isn't one thing. It is many things, and they are probably close together. If a group of people are going on a trip together, they might travel by bus. A group of people eating together will need to have a larger table, and a group of fish is called a school of fish. For example, Okinawa is part of a group of islands in southern Japan. 日本南部的冲绳县是由许多岛屿组成的。那么观光客一般都会去冲绳本岛玩。Group, group. 这个单词在课文里面，它是当名词，就表示团体或者是一群啊、一组等等。像是 The statue was surrounded by a group of tourists. The statue was surrounded by a group of tourists. 那一座雕像被一群观光客围着。好，再看一个例句。Each group is made up of five boys, five girls, and two leaders. Each group is made up of five boys. Five girls and two leaders. 每个团体都是由五个男生、五个女生，还有两个领队组成的。好，顺便提醒同学们，在英文里面要表达动物的一群，有许多的不同的量词。像一群鱼，我们会说 a school of fish； 一群绵羊会说 a flock of sheep。那一群大象，你可以说 a herd of elephants。还有一群狼，则是说 a pack of wolves 等等。好，在今天笑话一开始，有一群都市人要去参观一座农场。Okay, next we read. The farmer was giving them a tour. Hmm. And as they are walking around the farm, the farmer tells the group, "Here we are lucky," said the farmer. We never have to check the weather report. Okay, I wonder why not. Well, it's a mystery that we'll have to wait at least until we learn more about the word "report," which is our third new vocabulary word for today. Report, report. It's a noun. A report is usually a written record of important information. The writer of the report wants to only include the really important information so that the report can tell people who read it what they really need to know. Often, when we read or watch the news, we are getting reports about what happened around the world that day. For example, the president listened to the report about the damage from the typhoon. 总统仔细的听台风造成的损害报告。那么 ，report, report 这个单词在课文里面它是当名词，表示报告或者是报道。例如 ，According to the weather report, it will be sunny tomorrow. According to the weather report, it will be sunny tomorrow. 根据气象报告，明天是晴天，会出太阳。好，再看一个例句。The journalist did a special report on extreme weather events. The journalist did a special report on extreme weather events. 那位记者他做了一份关于极端气候事件的特别报道。好，那回到笑话里面，这座农场的主人带那些都市人啊到处参观。接着农场主人就说。我们这里的人很幸运，从来都不用看天气预报。嗯，这不太可能吧 ？So when they hear the farmer say that on the farm they don't need weather reports, the group of visitors is curious as to why, or as it says in our joke, the visitors asked how that was possible.、Mm, that's a great question. But now it's time for us to take a break. But we'll be back in just a few moments. See you soon. Hello, 忠言逆耳呢，有一句成语叫做 "Advice when most needed is least heeded"， 好长哦。对 ，Advice when most needed, <笑> needed is least heeded, heeded.。OK， advice 就是忠告、忠忠告。OK， 那 most needed 就是这个东西，它是最被需要的。Most needed。那 least heeded。Least。Heed，heed、嗯、就是这个留意啦，去注意啦，或者是听，所以 least heed 就是完全没有去留意，完全不去听的。嗯、OK， 
，所以呢，所以我刚刚讲了，早跟你说了，咋的跟你讲？左手心拍右手背，早就跟你说啦、啊，怎么办？就是 Didn't I warn you that？ 后面加个句子。Didn't I warn you that？ 或者是呢 ？Didn't I warn you about？Didn't I warn you about something？ 这样 ，OK。这边举的例子就是劈腿，劈腿，劈腿，就是欺骗感情。那英文叫做 cheat on 某某人，这样 cheat on someone <笑>。比如说。He cheated on me. He cheated on me. He is not a good guy. Okay, so we have to decide who is a good guy. We look at this person, is he worth trusting? Yes. So, worth trusting has a word called reliable. Reliable. Then, so he is worth trusting. He is reliable. He is reliable. Then I know he is not worth trusting. He is not reliable. Reliable. Yes. 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 可是你知道，人觉得我这个忠忠言逆耳都已经气了了，悲惨的时候了。对，知道人家气了了，你就要讲一下、嗯。I'm really sorry about that. I'm really sorry about that. I'm really sorry to hear that. I'm so sorry to hear that. 我都已经情伤，然后你一直在泼我冷水，然后你还把我故事写出来，你什么意思？我我是不是你朋友 ？I'm so sorry about that. Bye. <笑><笑>我们来看 live action。<笑> What? I broke up with you, Wayne. Wayne? I cannot believe that he was cheating on me all the time. Didn't I warn you about him? I told you that he is not reliable at all. He also borrowed money from me. No, no, no. no I don't no. think I can ever get it back. Well, I'm sorry. But advice when most needed is least heeded. One more time. Advice when most needed is least heeded. Okay, again. <laughs> advice when most needed is least heeded. <laughs> Explanation two. And we're back to wrap up our joke. A farmer giving a tour of his farm. Had just told his visitors that on the farm they don't need weather reports. He's about to explain why he says that. We read, "When our cows are standing," said the farmer, "it will be sunny." Okay, we'll find out more about what the cows can tell him about the weather in a second. But first, we need to look at our final new word for today. That word is cow. 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 This is a noun, and a cow is a type of large farm animal. Cows are useful on farms because they give us two things that we use: beef from the meat of the cow, as well as milk, which is used to make butter, cheese, and ice cream, as well as being something people drink. Cows come in many shapes and sizes, but they all generally say moo. For example, the farmer's cows walked into the barn so that they could be milked. 当乳牛回到牛舍之后，农场主人就在那边帮他们挤牛奶。Cow, cow 就是牛或是乳牛，它是当名词来用。例如 ，The farmer raises chickens and cows on his farm. The farmer raises chickens and cows on his farm. 那位农场主人有在他的农场养鸡和养牛。好，再看个例句。On our way to the town, we saw a herd of white cows in a grassy field. On our way to the town, we saw a herd of white cows in the grassy field. 我们在前往那个城镇的路上，在一片长满长满草的那个绿地上呢，看到一群的白色的牛。哎，那是我第一次看到白色的牛。好，回到笑话里面，农场主人说他们那边的人都不用看天气预报，因为当牛群站立的时候，就表示会有好天气。这真的还是假的、啊？不过农场主人的话还没有讲完哦。Now let's go to Mike for our question of the day. Well, the farm. The farmer was just saying that if the cows on the farm are standing, the weather will be sunny. So our question is, what does it mean when the cows are lying down? And the farmer explains to everyone, when our cows lie down, it's going to rain. When our cows lie down, it's going to rain. Oh, so that's why he said that they don't need weather reports on the farm. The cows tell them the weather. Yeah, interesting. But one of the visitors to the farm seems to have noticed something. 
Right now, some of your cows are standing and some are lying down. What does that mean? asked a visitor. And as we come to the end of the joke, the farmer answered, "That means." Some of them are wrong, <laughs> just like some of the weather reports made by humans. Absolutely. So, with a little bit of farmer's wisdom, we'll call it a day. Take care, be well, and always remember to take your umbrella with you. We'll see you back here soon. Bye bye. bye. 休息一下，马上回来哦。A chance of rain. A group of people from the city was visiting a farm. The farmer was giving them a tour. Here we are lucky," said the farmer. "We never have to check the weather report." The visitors asked how that was possible. "When our cows are standing," said the farmer, "it will be sunny. When our cows lie down, it's going to rain." Right now, some of your cows are standing and some are lying down. What does that mean? Asked a visitor. The farmer answered, "That means some of them are wrong." A B A gives B a tour. 第二则是表达某人从来不必做某事的句型 Somebody never has to 加原形动词。第三则是表示 A 问 B 某事怎么可能发生的句型 A asks B how something is possible. 让我们从表示 A 带 B 到处参观的句型开始吧。A gives B a tour. 意思是 A 带 B 到处参观。收语动词 give 意思是给，后方要接两个受词，一个受词是人，另一个受词是东西。在 A gives B a tour 这个句型当中，我们先接人，再接东西当受词。Tour 在这里是名词，参观、游览的意思。合在一起 ，A gives B a tour 字面意思就是 A 给 B 一个游览。言下之意就是 A 带 B 到处参观，后方可以用介系词 of 引出参观的对象。例如 ，The tour guide gave us a tour of the museum. 导游带我们参观这间博物馆。接着来看下一则文法。句型 Somebody never has to 加原形动词，意思是某人从来不必做某事。Never 是频率副词，从不、未曾的意思，是一个否定字。使用的时候放在一般动词的前方。动词片语 has to 是必须的意思，后方接原形动词，合在一起。Somebody never has to 加原形动词，意思就是某人从来不必做某事。例如 ，The princess never has to do house chores。这位公主从来不必做家事。注意，由于 never 已经是否定词，因此句中不需再使用 not 来表示否定意思哦。接着来看下一则文法，句型 A asks B how something is possible， 意思是 A 问 B 某事怎么可能发生。Ask 是授予动词，询问的意思，后方要接两个受词。一个受词是人，另一个受词是东西。在 A X B how something is possible 这个句型当中，我们先接人 B， 再接事物当受词。而这里的事物受词是用 how 如何引出的名词子句，其中 possible 是形容词可能的意思。How something is possible 就是某事怎么可能发生。例如 ，Elvin won ten games in a row。Everyone asked him how it was possible. Arwen 一连赢了十场，大家都问他怎么办到的。以上就是今天的三则文法，全民说英语。我们下次见喽。A sentence a day. Hello, welcome to a sentence a day with me, Henry. 嗯，我们平常出吃的时候有很多很好的服务。那其中一个服务就是你不需要再麻烦，想说糟糕了，油箱没有油了，我要再去加油。大部分的地方出车行都会帮你准备好，油箱就是满的
The tank is already full of gas. 油箱已经加满油了 This is a great service because you don't have to waste time getting a car, renting it, and then having to drive it to a gas station because it's out of gas, and then you have to get gas and waste a lot of your precious time that you could use. You could be using driving the car, getting from place to place. So most of the car rentals. All have this special service, and it's a nice, nice service where they leave the tank full, so you don't have to worry about it. Okay? The sentence for today is: The tank is already full of gas. 油箱已经加满油了 Thank you very much, car rental. See you next time. Bye bye. I'm Hanny. 又到我们一分钟的单元喽。那我们今天在 jokes and fun 一样学到了四个单词。现在就用一分钟的时间来复习。同学们，您都准备好没？一分钟计时，开始。第一个单词叫做机会、可能性。你有没有听过人家讲呛死？有没有呛死之类的？那个就是这个字 chance, chance， 机会、可能性。There is no chance that Ian will move to the countryside. Ian 绝对不可能搬去乡下住了，他一定要住在天龙国里面。好，再看第二个单词叫做团体，团体怎么说呢？一群啊，群体叫做 group， group。A large group of fans were waiting for the Korean singer at the airport。有一群粉丝都在机场迎接，等待迎接那个韩国歌手来。好，再看第三个单词叫做报告，报告怎么说呢？叫做 report， report， 它可以指报道。Please hand in your report by Tuesday. 请在星期二之前把报告交出来。第四个单词太简单了，牛啊，乳牛怎么说？叫做 cow。Cow, 我没有骂脏话哦。Did you hear the cow mooing? 你有听到那头牛在摸摸摸叫吗？好，太好啦！我们在这一分钟之内已经顺利复习完四个单词了，同学们表现很棒哦。那回去也要多多复习，多多造句练习。今天的 A B C Interactive English 到此为止，下次见喽，拜拜。